What's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Amani Shanae. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to become a treasure babe. So today, I'm going to be unboxing um, a shipment I just got in um, of like containers and vials and stuff like that. Um, so I want to do a quick unboxing and give you, for your business owners, I want to give you a um, vendor or just a website that you can get. Uh, containers and stuff from um and they actually ship really really fast and they're pretty reasonable as far as prices goes so um stay tuned to the end of the video to see where i got these from and someone requested that I, um i do a video on how i sanitize my bottles and stuff so i'll be doing that today but i want to do the unboxing um first and it's a really really big box so and I have not opened it it's been sitting here for like two days and I just ordered it uh, I really want to say Monday today is Friday today is Friday okay and the packaging is biodegradable the packing peanuts and here it has a biodegradable sticker on the top of the box. That's how I know. And there's a lot of peanuts on the top. So I'm going to have to like, literally throw all this on the floor. And then set it up. Oh my gosh. Like boxes inside boxes. But it's peanuts everywhere. <laughs> it's peanuts everywhere. So here's my packing slip. All of this came to a hundred and four dollars. this first box a useful tip I would save all the um, anytime you have something that comes with packaging save it when you check or you should not order like this stuff I save that too so these I got these are going to be my new jars for um, my body butters. And like I said, I will wash and sanitize these bottles, so um, no worries on that. But I did just wash my hands. But um, these are like oval shape. So I have to see what kind of label, what size label I'm going to put on these. But these are going to be like my 4 ounce body butters. And I got these in 8 ounces for my body butters as well. With the leaves, which I kind of want to um, get different jars for my different products so I can so I don't know I just want to be a little different I got like Um, the 44 ounce cookie tins are for a wholesale order for sugar scrub and they get they got black tops so I'll be making that today and all the white tops that are in this bag are for the jars I just showed you for the body butters I want all white tops for my stuff and then I got This is the only thing black container has. Um, it's my turmeric sugar scrub because if you know turmeric has like a, it can like stain. And I just prefer it being a black container. So I got four out containers from here. And they come with the lid. They they didn't have eight ounce ones, but I have another place that I get the eight ounce ones from. And I have a whole bunch of eight ounce containers. 
black with no top because I don't know if I'll be ordering wrong or whatever. But so these are what the containers look like. So these are from my tunic shoe scrub, which is one of the top sellers that I sell. And here is another box. They got this taped up really good. And then the rest is full of packing peels. I'm actually right on time because, you know, Black Friday's coming up. So when I ship out orders, I could just reuse these pants. And I have already made products for my restocking to restock stuff. So this is like all the stuff that I'm making. But here is just vials. Um, I got one ounce and two ounce. Which I already had some, but I ordered more. I'm trying to see where the droppers are. Oh, they're in here too. So this is like a bag full of tops. It has the droppers, if y'all can see them. For the one ounce and two ounce, it has the container, the tops for the wholesale, and then the tops for those jars I showed you. And the, the tumor ones came. I already had some, but um, the rest of this video, I'll be showing you guys how I wash and sanitize my container so stay tuned okay guys so you make sure you want to make sure you sanitize the area that you'll be working on so I have wiped my area with um, Lysol wipes I have washed my hands um, you also want to use either distilled water or you want to boil the water to purify it for the containers I know I don't match please don't mind what I got on but we have a water um, dispenser that has um, purified water and it also has like an in, a in, in, uh, have you ever had a dream? Um, <laughs> it has a water heater like built in it. So I use that. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but it's smoke coming from here. So you want to make sure that you have antibacterial um, soap, gloves, and I'm about to extra one. I also I have the hot water in here and the hot water, um, another bowl of hot water. And I just use these for um, cleaning purposes of my containers. Like nothing else goes in here. This actually was um, a container that I got from um, when I I make a milk and pour soap. So this is one of those containers. I make use of everything. I really don't like throwing stuff away, especially like recyclable stuff. So, and these gloves are small, and I definitely need a medium. Okay, so anyway, I'm not going to do all my containers um, on camera because that'll take entirely too long. But if you were waiting for the reveal of my of the website that I use, it is this. They're called SpecialtyBottles.com, I believe. But yeah, that's where I get most of my containers. And bottles from. But first, I forgot to add the, the soap to it. I just definitely got some on the counter. So I could get a couple in at a time. And you want to make sure I go like this and make sure I get the make sure you get the inside. And I let them sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, so these have set for 15 minutes. Um, I went ahead and laid out my paper towels over here, like so on the counter. Um, and then I will just take my, I also put some more heat, um, hot water in here. So then I'll just empty out my containers. Or vials 
you don't want the water to be too hot like on with plastic containers because it might potentially um, melt melt it but these are glass I'm doing these first and you rinse them out and then you set them up on your paper towels and I normally let mine sit overnight to make sure that all the water is out of the bottles because you don't want to um, <clears throat> leave any kind of water inside and that can um, like wetness and create mold. You definitely don't want that in your, in your products. So yeah, I would rinse these. And like I said, let them sit overnight to dry out. And just the extra step that I do after I um, after I dry, I turn them all over so the top is open or the top is at the top. Because of course when you set them to dry, you want to set them upside down so all the water drops out. But um, I like to spray them with the 90, my 99% alcohol just, just to make sure before I put any product in it. And then of course you let that dry, which only takes a few minutes. And yep, that's all I do guys. I hope this has helped someone. Um, if you have any further questions, please, or any other video suggestions, please go ahead and comment them down below. <clears throat> and that is it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys stay blessed and be safe.